Grand Horizon afternoon and evening. Hey guys, peace, love, and light. Thank you for watching. I'm beyond the spectrum, and I'm just pulling some um, cards on this and this Luna eclipse energy and the Scorpio moon. It's definitely connected in with the Dove, the Dove grid. Okay, the portal's open, and ta uh, Taz here, as well as the Tree of Life, the Hathors. The dove and then ma'at through these lunar energies cosmic influences are coming through for osiris with the high priestess okay so there was a big ceremony months ago um with osiris evidently uh the nefertis ta uh, pata ata the hathors anubis in Isis, okay, in Ma'at, there was a uh, huge ceremony. I actually filmed it. Um, didn't realize it when I was filming it, but then I watched it and I was like, oh my God, what did I just capture? Um, Osiris is returning through these lunar energies. See, they're showing me the moon. The lunar energies, okay, because Anubis is here. Anubis is here, and Sothis, the star conscious, is here for the sacred relationship. Wow. Okay. So, through this portal that's happening, for Osiris, connected to Horus, right? Because we are the eye of Horus. We are connected to Horus. For those of you who don't know or, or are new to all this or however you put that for you, we are connected to Horus. We have the eye of Horus in our brain that's the penile gland it's, you know it's not just shaped like the eye of horus by coincidence we we are horus what can who is the christ consciousness for the dove frequency okay i did a reading back a while ago talking about these energies these cosmic energies having to go deep into the earth from from the the uh one of the central suns Okay, because we have a central sun inside and we have a, a central sun outside. And then we have uh, Solaris, or Sol, our, our sun. Okay, um, waking up, activating the dove grid. Okay, having to go through a volcano to do it. For balance, for significant, significant balance, right? Through the tree of life. The tree of life has been activated. I actually captured a piece of the tree of life. Um, as well, we are connected to the tree of life. It's all DNA codes. It's a, it's a, um, it's like a bifrost. It's a, uh, a portal, um, for lack of a better way at the moment to put it, um, to send frequency because we're connected to the tree. We're connected to everything. We're not separate from anything. We are made of the trees. We are made of the earth, right? Um, they are here assisting with this shift right now through these moons. Cosmic influences are using this moon to do that. With that, though, as we see, they're showing me all the planets. All right, these planets are aligning, but they're really suns. Through this moon, it's like a breath of life coming through this moon for a new rebirth because Scorpio is about death and a rebirth. You know, literally, figuratively, um, you know, even on your life, choices we make, um, shedding our old ways. And this is for those who are really, you know, connecting in and tapping in, right, to the most high. Because um, you understand at this level. Not, not a lot of people understand at this level, um, considering how many people are, are here. It's a regeneration Transmutation, they are transmuting significant energy through this portal. Okay, and there's portals open as well. The one in Mexico, I was shown the Aztec, like the Aztec coin. They were showing me, I was being shown the Aztec coin and how that is like a stargate. The coin is an image of a stargate in Mexico because it's a portal there and all these are going to align somehow with the stargate for an opening of the way because anubis is here anubis is a shaman okay and once again anubis is a shaman 
He's an opener of the way um, for this dove grid, for this frequency shift within our DNA codes as well for balance because my aunt is all about balance, universal life force, universal balance, and we are out of balance here. We really are. Now, Ta, who it's number 20, right, divinely protected the two of a union, right, of a, of a new aeon, an eon, right? It's, um, I will, she's, he's a, he's a visionary prophet. These prophets are here and, and they're really here. Okay, so I will start with this one. These ancient ones, they're really here. Make no mistake. Okay, so this is um, the great creator, uh, Lower G, God, Pata, has the power to, uh, to imagine a new world. It opens the mouth of, the, of creation to issue it forth. <clears throat> Excuse me, a lover of this world, this existence, in all things manifest. He is also a prophet and a seer of the future eons. He holds the potential of the golden age in his mind's eye. We humans are entrusted with this Im imaginings and have the potential to embody and act and create them. Hence the eye of Horus that we have in us. We can tap into this vision. He helps us to harness his ability to speak things into being. His dominion reached down through the earth into the underworld to the dove, okay, which were in the underworld, um, into the inner world and all the way up into the cosmos. And the cosmos came out here. See, the cosmos came out here. Into the Akashic realms, including all spaces in between. Ta was received by the ancient, by the ancient craftsmen artisans and builders of the monuments of Egypt, for he in assisted them in manifesting and co-create dreams, providing both ideas and tools. And it goes into like, if you've drawn this card, okay, that you're being guided to, um, to open up your mouth and speak your truth as you have seen it from your highest vision and to help co-create a new era with your right speech and right actions. This applies to you personally and to whatever situation or questions you bring um, to the Oracle. It also applies to the greater collective visions of the future of our world. You are being asked to see clearly with your heart and into your heart and to bring forth all creations through the channel of your heart and mind. And then it goes into closing your mind. I mean, closing your eyes and imagine and ta, pata, and use your heart and see and listen and then imagine your mind's eye what it is you will create remember your thoughts and words influence reality that's why in you know rewritten scripture they say christ does say be mindful of your thoughts okay and um to me christ is horus because we have the eye of horus in us but that's me that's my understanding of it um you're being asked to see clearly okay so then you know, what you're so if you're if you're in a fear state, you're going to keep bringing that in. If you're in a if you're in a under, deeper understanding state, you're going to bring that in. You know you know what I mean. What you think about, you bring about. Super powerful because cosmic influences three right connected to the Trinity, the Christ consciousness, and Horus um, for this balance. Because Thoth is here. He's an architect. He's a Thoth is you know I mean normal people can't even look at Thoth's book because. They wouldn't be able to handle the power of the magic. He was an architect here. They all took a part in designing what we live in. Okay, it's, it's very supernatural. Okay, it's not as 3D. It's very supernatural. They, they were supernatural. All right, because the Stargate, the five sacred elements, you're asking to be connected in the five sacred elements, which is air, fire, earth, water, and spirit. Okay, the, connect into the tree of life for this truth, for this balance, the initiate, the dove, for the back into the innocence and trust. Now the Hathor is a frequency. They're a divine, high divine frequency of um, med in the medicine women as well. Osiris is returning. I'm just saying it out here. I'm putting it out here. Osiris is returning. We know this because we have the eye of Horus in us. 
We are connected to them. We're not separate from them. So if you think that they're negative and you're thinking that about yourself, I'm just putting that out there. I'm not claiming to be any prophet. I feel that's very arrogant to call one a prophet. Um, but I also trust the messages I get. And these people are out there like talking about how Isis is negative and, and Osiris is negative. Like you're connected to them. You, if you have the eye of Horus in your brain, you're connected to them. Just saying, you know, it's, it's, it's bigger than a lot of people understand. The Native Americans, I'm feeling with this energy as well, which would be the Mayans, the like the Aztecs, the originals on these lands. We have the dragon here. We have the sacred ibis here. Um, wow, this is a big portal. Come, this is a big, 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 big portal. One second, I want to uh, eat universal. Yeah, universal forces are connected to this Scorpio flower moon. Show me more about this Scorpio moon that's going to affect us as Darcy Collective. Show us how it's going to influence us as well, please. Okay, so I'm looking at the lunar card, right? The, um, the con I don't know how to say the name. Con Konshu. All right, it says lunar energies, divine timing, and blood mysteries. No coincidence that this is a blood moon, right? We have a high priestess here, and we do, with Anubis. Anubis is the opener of the way to the sun, to the star. And this is connected to the three kings, Orion, because they, they're part of Orion. We're in Orion. For the sacred relationship, connected to the Sphinx. So something's going on at the Sphinx. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. These pyramids are activated. They may not look it, but they're activated big time. They are portals to come through from the stars. For Osiris, we're watching Osiris being formed in the veil. Most don't even realize that, um, and we are. I've captured feet, hands, arms, um, eyes. I've actually captured Osiris's hat. Um, he's being completely regenerated. Isis is resurrecting him yeah through the initiation is here okay so they're showing me the lightning the cosmic lightning i'm hearing the cosmic lighting and they're showing me the serpent i've been seeing a snake a little freaking snake i i haven't never seen a snake here before and i've, been, I've seen it twice now not only that, my star brother, who lives in a whole different area, in a city, saw, saw the same snake. What are the chances of that? You know what I'm saying? Dance with life. So this frequency, they're showing me about the frequency. The messengers are here. Jump in, see the cosmic eye. The cosmic eye. What you think about, you bring about. Your life is a canvas. You are a pillar of light. You are a pillar of light. Some of you are actually working in the Akashic field. You're going into the Akashic record. Some of you are changing uh, some. Some of you are changing soul contracts. Some soul contracts are being are already fulfilled, as well, and will be ending, because uh, eclipses are all about severing endings. Phasing out, removing, you know, what is no longer for you and to allow to come in a new, a new light, a new soul contract. Um, but this is definitely connected in with Osiris, Set and Horus, Sothis, Star Consciousness from, um, coming from the Orion, the yellow star. We have three suns. Notice we the the pill the the pillars, the pyramids sit under three stars because those are the three suns, the three kings. We really have three suns. We don't have just one sun. We have three suns, which is Orion. This is all this to align. It took a lot for all of this to align, right in here, for the tree of life to come in. 
to be, not come in, but like everything's already here. Nothing is not here. Let's put it this way. It's just, we've been in a certain level of consciousness that we haven't seen it. And now all this is appearing, right? Because it's always been here. It's just our consciousness wasn't there. So now we're seeing all this stuff, thinking it just got here and it didn't. It's been here the whole time. Just like Atlantis and Lemuria are still really there. Existence is still carrying on there. We just can't see it because it's like we're in another room, okay? So imagine like we're in this big house and all these different worlds are going on under this one roof. You know, a lot of us are feeling it. Now we're seeing it. It's almost like the walls, the walls are being lifted so we can see all the cosmos. We've been blocked. We've been blocked from the cosmos and that is no longer... That's the opening. That is the opening. I do want to read uh, so this, which is a 17, which is an 8. Just give me one second. Okay. So this is the stellar manifestation of Isis. Like Isis, she is a pure channel for divine love and wisdom. Sothis is also Cyrus, the dog star that came up in the reading I did last night, the dog and the cat, which I felt was Osiris in the Hathors, right? Or Sekhmet. Um, dog star, which is the brightest star in the sky. Sothis, Isis, follows her husband Osiris as the constellation Orion into the underworld when it disappears from view for 70 days. The number of days for the funera funera funeral rites of an ancient of ancient Egypt. As she appears again, rising in the eastern sky, this is huge, after her um, her sojourn in the underworld, I gotta look that word up, um, her presence heralds the coming in, uh, inundation in the new year in the ancient calendar of Egypt. As Sothis rises in the night sky, she pours forth her spiritual essence, her stellar energies, and her compassionate wisdom upon all beings. Yeah, I know Isis is here. She's one of the, she's one of the divine mothers. Through her willingness to offer us this precious gift in her guidance, we are elevated to a greater understanding of our own soul's purpose and the reasons we are here on earth at this time. So this is the star of humanity in a true Bohistava, calling forth the best in each of us and inspiring us to step into our, our greater selves and offer our own unique gifts back into the world. As Isis is the great mother of the earth, Sothis is the queen of the sky. And it goes into, um, you're asked, being asked to embody your star consciousness. The star of your being is rising. Use this as an opportunity to be seen in the world and to emerge as a conscious teacher of something your life has taught you. You have something wonderful to share. And if you find your, yourself having an underworld experience, you can be sure that you will rise once again when the time is right. And the cycle is completed. Again, with the cycles with the lunar eclipse. Uh, instead of despairing, you have the opportunity to express your gratitude for all that you have learned on your journey. Be as Sothis, a generous light in the darkness. Now, a song came through about in the dark last night. No coincidences here. All right. Some of you are running from this energy. Some of you are really significant star seeds here, and you're running. You're scared. Um... You're having a hard time with the, these energies. Um, some of you have chosen a dark path. And I use the word chosen. Manipulated as well into a dark way. No judgments, okay? But you can always come back to the light. You have to go to creator. So this was what came through in the dark. Life isn't easy on the singular side. Down in a hole, some emotions are hard to hide. Decision, making a decision to change your life. Some of you are having a hard time breaking habits. 
some of you want, and again, I was going into some of you are connected to someone who really wants to know if you would take them back because you are their calm in the storm, right? Now, some of you are also going through this. You're hearing, you're hearing creator. You're hearing creator in your head. You're hearing your angels, your guides, your ancestors. Excuse me. And some of you are hearing something else. It's like, which wolf are you going to feed, right? You're, some of you are in heaven and addictions because you've been drowning out the voices like it's like you're on a mission here you have a significant mission and and it's like you're shut trying to shut off creator by drowning it in in whether you're you know drinking drugs people places and things pretty much right um as you run because then it was the words as you run to a place to hide so some of you are trying to hide from this and ignore it okay because you're not sure if the illusion is real. Your God, your hopes, and your dreams. Some of you traded. Some of you traded. Some of you kind of made a deal with the devil, so to speak. And you have to go to Creator to change that. I know I was connected into somebody last night. Because it came through super strong. Billy Squire. And I trust everything I get in the dark. Um, you are a pillar of light. Most of us empath star seeds. We have engaged in addictions, absolutely. You know, we've gone into the dark hole um, to find the light. Because it, it, being here is hard for us, you know, and it is. And I speak from experience. The things that I hear, the things that I see, the things that I feel at the level that I feel them personally, yeah, I've tried to drown them out and shut them out and because I didn't understand what I didn't understand. Um, but I found my way back. I found my way back. And I can't even imagine going back that way. So I'm here to help and guide those who are really struggling, you know. I mean, I can't fix you. You have to help fix you. You have to actually go to Creator God. Some of you trade, try, like, I'm hearing, like, traded your soul. And you have to work with Creator God for that. That's why the serpents are here. You're in the dark right now. You're in an initiation stage of which way you're going to go for some of you. Are you going to go to the light or are you going to stay in the dark? So you decide. You are from, from the stars. We are in Orion. We are from Orion. They are here. They are sending in activation codes from the, from the great central sun. These CMEs that are coming through are for our DNA codes to, because, uh, um, you know, again, we're connected to Horus. We are not not connected to Horus. Horus is Christ. Go look at a picture of your penal gland if you don't understand what I'm talking about. You have the eye of Horus in you. We are connected to Isis, Osiris, Horus. This is why we are waking up to the way that we are waking up and seeing the things that we are seeing. We are connected to the Most High God. We have God DNA in us. This is the resurrection. This is the resurrection they speak about. The Immaculate Conception they speak about because Isis had Horus and Immaculate Conception. Isis resurrected Osiris and the resurrection is happening again. This is huge. This is, wow, this is big. For a frequency, for the frequency shift here. It takes a lot, takes a lot to shift this frequency here. It would take the, it would take them, the power of them. The Sphinx set, because we are in set world. Thoth is here. I've been saying that all along. Thoth is here for this alignment with Anubis. Okay? Something's going on over in Ganglamesh. Sekhmet is here. That's some of the serpents that we're seeing. Sekhmet. Isis is here. This is huge. Set is the shadow side. Set is the shadow world. The shadow lands. In the shadows, you see the light, right? In the shadows, you find the light. Dancing with your shadow. Not being afraid of the shadow. 